So I have got selected in Capgemini, I have got selected in LTI, I have got selected in Infosys and I have got the CIS domain. But I really don't know about CIS. What is CIS? What are the basic things we will learn in CIS? What are the roles and responsibilities we are supposed to follow in CIS? And what is the growth potential of this field? Is it better than coding or coding is better than this? There are lot many doubts related to CIS. So here I am addressing all the doubts, all these points which I have listed right now. So here in this video, I'll discuss all the points in detail. So if you are interested in knowing all these points about CIS, keep watching the video. We will be right back. So let's start the video by defining CIS and how CIS came into this picture. So as we all know, technology is evolving, world is evolving and many of the startups and many tech giants are shifting themselves, are migrating themselves from a physical environment to cloud environment. Now this basically created an opportunity for some other companies because on one hand, some companies are migrating themselves from a physical environment to the cloud environment. So on the other hand, there are some companies which are trying to support these companies by providing them the cloud services like Capgemini, LTI, Infosys, Cognizant. There are many companies right now uh, here in India which are providing cloud services. And because cloud services or cloud environment is a really sensitive thing, it requires really skilled developers to handle all the uh, uh, information or to handle all the tasks associated with it. So that created this CIS domain and that's how CIS is born. In CIS, you will learn about Windows Server Administration. You will learn about Linux Server Administration. You can also learn Oracle databases, SQL databases, apart from that, you can have knowledge of virtualization, VMwares and hypervisors and many more. Like these are like the things which I have listed just now. These are just a generalized curriculum of CIS. So these are the basic things which you will learn uh, during your CIS curriculum. And like now there will be a question that uh, what will be a proof that I have learned these things. So I will strongly recommend you that if you are going through a Windows uh, Server Administration, please get yourself certified from Microsoft. So again, if you are in Linux, Linux Administration, get yourself certified from Red Hat. If you are working on databases from Oracle, you have to take a certification and you have to have a better understanding, a deep understanding of hypervisors. Uh, virtualization and all the virtualization server racking and re-racking each and everything you should have a better understanding. Okay, what will be your roles and responsibilities as a cloud infrastructure engineer? So first of all, as a cloud infrastructure engineer, you will create the whole infrastructure, like how many users you will create the users, you will create the groups, you will uh, provide all the onboarding information, login, logout times and uh, providing various facilities to uh, providing access rules like who can access what and like you know you will have a full control over the storage you can divide the storage like there are all administ they are basically the administrative tasks which you will perform as a cloud infrastructure engineer okay. coming towards the most important point of this discussion what is the growth potential of this cloud infrastructure services or like CIS, what is exactly the growth potential of this field? So if you talk about the growth potential, you can clearly see like I know that there are some companies which are not yet moved towards cloud, which have not yet migrated towards cloud, but they are about to migrate and most of the companies have already migrated towards cloud and uh, cloud infrastructure. So this creates a big opportunity for all the upcoming engineers to pursue their career in the field of cloud infrastructure services. So you can say, yes, there is a growth potential associated with it, but you will grow if and only if you are certified. If you are a certified Windows admin or a Windows server administrator, then only you'll get much, then only you'll get importance. Otherwise, you know, 
things are not that easy here so basically what is better coding is better or cis is better so for me i don't think like it's absolutely absurd to compare the two fields because you know they are two uh, totally different things like they are two complete different uh, pillars of it so it's not uh, a meaningful thing to compare these two things so like both the fields have their own beauty but yes uh, what i can say uh, like some people have this doubt like will be uh, like can we get a chance to code in cis like what is the quantity of code which i can write while i am a uh, cloud infrastructure engineer so there is you can say very less or no coding for cis people some amount of coding yes it is there like you will write some windows powershell script that's uh, pretty much sure but there is not much of coding there uh, like the task is quite administrative you will not get to code much so that's quite clear i think so i think that i have covered uh, almost uh, all the important points related to cloud infrastructure services but still if you are having any doubts any queries you are most welcome uh, you can write your doubts in the comment section below and you can also contact me on instagram Thank you.